I was, I was secretly hoping that would keep the, the couch over there and I could use that, but oh well. So the plugin directory. When we started working on um, a new version of the plugin directory on this project that I'm about to um, talk to you about, it was six years earlier, almost to the day, um, that I made my very first commit uh, to a version controlled repository, um, and that was the plugin directory at the time. Um, I followed the documentation that came with the directory that was on the directory as it is still today, uh, even to the detail of using that commit message, you know, that they have in that documentation um, for my first commit. Um, and it looked probably something like this. I was thrilled. Um, when I did my first commit, um, the plugin directory looked a bit different than it does now. And I want to show you a little bit um, about how it looked and uh, where we came from. So the first version of the plugin directory um, was released in March 2007, almost 10 years ago. Um, and WordPress had, at this time, has had a development hosting on wp-plugins.org uh, for you know, quite some time, but it didn't have a user interface at all. So users were not able to browse plugins and conveniently, you know, um, find more information about plugins and find, you know, a, a plugin that would address their, their need um, in the way that it was possible with this new plugin directory. Um, it was built on BBPress, which made sense at the time because WordPress did not ha have a custom post type like it does today. Um, and so, um, yeah, it was decided to use BBPress, uh, which is still run on today. Uh, the current version of the plugin directory still uses the same um, uh, BBPress installation. Um, Mike Adams, uh, Mark Jaquith, and MT were the ones who uh, worked on this project. Um, this is a, a screenshot of the, the single plugin view, which um, looks almost nothing like it does today. Um, it, the plugin directory over time has undergone um, quite a few iterations on design updates. Um, one of these design updates was done around 2009, where um, WordPress 2.7 was released and introduced also a new WP admin design. And so WordPress.org's uh, design, including the one for the plugin directory, was informed by that. You have the dark header um, and the light blue sub navigation here. When we look at the single plugin page again, here it's um, Akismet as an example, it looks much more familiar already. You know, um, We have this big download button to the top right that we still have today. And um, we have tabs to split up information and you know, make it easier to, to navigate. Uh, and of course, um, on the right-hand side, we have more meta information about the plugin. Um, and this structure basically lived on uh, until today. In 2011, there was yet another design update. We have the gray header. Um, and also, um, plugin banners were introduced. And for the first time, plugin authors had a, had a way to uh, individualize their plugin uh, detail pages a little bit more than um, just with, you know, text out of their readme files. Um, it was a huge success. A lot of um, plugins adopted that right out of the bar, right up from the start, as I want to say. Um, and it's still used today, of course, and will probably, will definitely be used, sorry, um, in the future as well. Last year, in April, uh, the plugin directory saw its uh, latest round of updates, introducing uh, the, the card view that was, um, was added to WP Admin in WordPress core. And to make that more recognizable on the plugin directory side as well, um, this was uh, taken over from there. Um, it was just released a couple of months after we finished our work on the new themes directory, which again was inspired by the way that WordPress core does uh, the theme uh, management screen. The, the technology, as I said earlier, um, throughout this time for the plugin directory um, remained the same. And um, so this was one of the things that um, made it really, yeah, made, that didn't make it easy to get started working on WordPress.org uh, projects for me personally, because I never really worked with BBPress before. Um, the theme directory was the first project for myself to work on um, on the uh, WordPress.org infrastructure. And as a developer, when you you know first you know dive into a new code base and and try to understand and, and learn how things work, you don't ever want to encounter a comment like this. Um, this, this preceded uh, the code that managed um, theme downloads for the theme directory, um, the old theme directory. And so it kind of gives you an idea of um, the challenges we, we faced um, doing that shift.
the directory that we're currently working on um, that we hope we'll be able to release um, in 2016 fully. Um, I want to talk about that and give you um, more of a broad idea of what we try to achieve with it and where we're going uh, in the future. Some of our goal goals that we um, discussed when we first started working on it uh, in February was, of course, um, open sourcing the directory and the plugins API. Um, this is an integral step to make sure that um, more folks can get involved in contributing to the plugin directory and also stay in sync with the philosophy of the rest of WordPress um, and, yeah, continue to, to foster uh, the open source idea as well. Um, our, second, our second goal was to use WordPress, which is, um, I know, uh, groundbreaking, but <laughs> it's, it's something you know, we, we thought we should do. It also, um, it also helps uh, people to, to um, contribute to the WordPress um, directory uh, code or anything on meta, um, because um, you know, a lot more contributors are familiar with WordPress than they are with BBPress, um, and so writing uh, the new plugin directory from scratch using WordPress allows us to open source it and have more people involved in, in that process. Those first two um, goals um, are kind of achieved or will be achieved just by working on the directory. It's not really something that we had to work hard on. It's just um, something that, that came with working on the project. The first thing that we did have and continue to, um, to work hard on will be enhancing user experience, which is an integral part of the new um, plugin directory. Uh, the directory has grown significantly since its inception in 2007. Um, we have now almost 45,000 plugins, um, and everyone here who has ever tried to find, you know, um, an SAO plugin and find the right SAO plugin for themselves knows that it's, you know, it can be daunting to weed through, um, I don't know how many hundred SAO plugins we have currently in the repository. So making that experience better, making it easier for, um, for users to find the specific plugin that they're looking for um, is our number one priority with this, with this um, project. Um, this goes hand in hand with improved search. Search is um, one of the most used, uh, most used actions on uh, the plugin directory. And so improving that um, will help us and go a long way in improving the overall uh, user experience as well. Um, and last but not least, um, achieve a scalable review process. Currently, um, plugins are being reviewed almost like uh, themes in the theme directory, um, with a big difference that the plugin review team is a set of, I think, five uh, people who, who have access to that. And the majority of, of reviews are done by just a couple of reviewer, reviewers. So making it easier um, and s more scalable um, will help um, yeah, keeping, keeping that queue short, as we just talked about with the themes in the uh, Q&A uh, in the previous session. And make sure that um, these queues that we see over there um, will not appear and you know, will not be likely in the new plugin directory. If you're interested in, in kind of you know, getting an idea of, of how it looks like under, under the hood, this is a, you know, a good diagram for that. We have a, a regular WordPress theme as the basis. Um, and then a, a plugin that together with WordPress itself, of course, powers uh, that site. Um, the plugin uploader and the plugins API are technically part of that plugin, but I separated them out because they're you know, so important to, um, yeah, to the directory. First of all, uh, the plugin uploader is something that we will, or we'd like to try in this iteration, uh, much like um, we have had an uploader with themes for quite some time. Um, we thought that adding an uploader to the plugins directory could help with um, automated code tests for plugins, so that plugins who don't satisfy basic requirements don't even make it to the review queue in the first place, um, but rather give you know, straight feedback to the plugin author and give them an opportunity um, to fix you know, basic errors and, and re-upload those plugins for, for a proper review. And then, of course, the plugins API, which is based on uh, the, the WordPress REST API, um, and it also has a compatibility layer uh, to work with the plugins API that you know, your WordPress installation uses to ask for updates to current plugins or to plugins that you have on your sites. As I said, um, plugin consumers are um, on the forefront of, of this transition um, for us you know, when we started um, 
you know, working on it and, and uh, trying to, to gather requirements. Um, this is one option that we think, um, uh, or one design that the plugin directory could have. Um, boasting a, a centralized uh, search slot, um, which is you know, more prominent um, than it was now because uh, we, we're confident that we will be able to pr uh, provide better results. And so um, making that search bar more prominent um, yeah, will lead to a better user experience long term. Um, search is a better way to find what you're looking for than exploration. And so uh, this is why we think having a central search bar um, would be something that users would appreciate. On the home page, we also have different kinds of um, sections you know, for, that we could change any point, at any point in time. Um, having beta plugins, for example, and featuring those and getting more users involved in um, testing our you know, feature plugins or feature projects um, would be a good idea. We could also experiment with various data sources um, and, and have you know, feature plugins or the most popular ones, which is in the current version of the iteration. Um, on the homepage. As you can see, it's also, um, design-wise, there's a lot more white space than there used to be. Um, font sizes are bigger. Uh, this was also um, one of our, uh, yeah, some, some of the feedback that we got from, from users um, is that the current font size is fairly small, and um, so we try to accommodate that and, and increase that in the new, in the new iteration. For search, um, we're now using uh, Elasticsearch servers. Um, it was part of the diagram that I just showed. Um, Elasticsearch is m more modern than the Sphinx search that we used previously, uh, or uh, uh, use currently, as a matter of fact. Um, Elasticsearch is better supported. We have a lot more um, know-how in the community around Elasticsearch. Um, and it's more flexible. It allows us to incorporate extra factors in the ranking of plugins uh, for search results. Um, 